on an expedition today to build a beautiful masterpiece almost free. So I'm here at, at uh, the, uh, the ReStore or at uh, Valley Village. Right now I'm at Valley Village. So I'm going to give you a couple little hints. Number one, you can use canvases that have been used before. And as long as it's acrylic on it or a photograph finish, you're fine. This one here has two little dimples in it. That's okay. When you get it home, you take it home, you spray it from the back, put a bit of spritzer on, and that dimple will go away. Okay? So you want to look for is these, these here look like a photograph finish. So they've been photographed. Uh, it's got a good sturdy back on it. And um, you want to make sure that it's in good shape, your corners are in good shape. And you can paint that whole thing over again. Here's one here too. This is like a nice deep canvas. There's a photograph. See the difference? You can tell that's a photograph of the edge. Nice sturdy frame on it. Okay, great one for trout for doing. Okay, that's a good one. Now here's one here. Um, this one here. That is actually acrylic. I'll show you how you can tell the difference between acrylic and oil. There's oil right here. This is, this is oil. Now oil will have a bit of a sheen and it also has a, a bit of a softer edge to it than an acrylic. Also, I've got a little trick that you can use in my purse here. A little bit of, a little bit of, uh, so what you can do is a little bit, a real little bit of, uh, of your, uh, your alcohol that we use for COVID, like a little tiny, little tiny thing here, a little Q-tip, and dip it in here, and just rub it on here. If a lot of paint comes off, it is acrylic. If hardly any paint comes off, it's oil. That's acrylic. Lots of paint. So that is acrylic. So that's the way to tell with the oil and acrylic. You don't want to oil canvas if you're going to paint acrylic because you can't put acrylic on top of oil. So make sure you find out and get acrylic. Acrylic or photograph is great and there's a lot of photographs out there now because the uh, furniture stores use them and they're photographed on canvas and the frames are really good quality so instead of buying a canvas for sixty seventy dollars I'm looking at this one here for thirteen ninety nine so that's fourteen dollars and this this one's ten dollars and they're about two by two they're about twenty four by twenty four so they're a nice size so really good price. So that's the first step is your canvas. canvas. So now I've spent $10, let's say, and I'm gonna go to the next little stop, and that's the budget so far, okay? This is step number two to creating your beautiful masterpiece almost free. So I'm at the dollar store, and this is a Dollarama, and they have a very good selection. Um, what I would suggest is getting a brush that has not too long. See this brush here? It's really long. It's more for watercolor. So you want a shorter brush and not too stiff and not too soft, sort of in between. Now this is an assorted brush. This probably the white one is more for acrylic and this is more for watercolor. Uh, I can't feel it to show you that for sure, but uh, the softer the brush, more for watercolor and a little bit firmer for acrylic. This is a good one here for acrylic. I've used these before and they're really good, but they're all pointy. So you want, you only need a couple of pointy ones, a nice big flat one like this, so you can use on the edge. And then I call this the filbert brush. This is your rounded edge brush. I don't use it too often, but it's handy to have. So this actually, this package could do you with everything. You don't need all those, all those packages. Just get like that. And you're looking at $3.50 and $1.75. So for $5.25, and you got uh, all the brushes you need. So there's our second step. Ten bucks was the first one, and now five. I'm at Opus.
downtown in uh, Kelowna. And this is part three of drawing something or painting something. Just beautiful, beautiful work. So creating your own masterpiece on very little money. Almost free for cash. So here I'm at Opus, and it's my favorite store. They've done a lot for uh, uh, Freedom Store and uh, the recovery house here. They've been uh, helping the guys out and giving them paint and sketch pads. So really, really thankful to Opus. They're a very great, great community partner and uh, are really lovely for the community. So I'm gonna just show you now some of the uh, ideas that we have. So I showed you all the little tiny paints for a dollar fifty each. And this is the other route to go. So if you're not a real beginner painter, um, you might want to go, this is a small set. Now this is if you want to make your own colors. So I'm just gonna show you over here, come with me. This is a color wheel here, okay? Now a color wheel basically is three colors. Every color in this whole wide world is made from three primary colors. Primary red, primary yellow, and primary blue. Okay, so this is your primary blue. Like this, a nice true blue. This is your primary red, it'd be a nice clear red, it's not orangey, this one here. And then a nice primary yellow would be probably this one that isn't too yellowy, okay? So you could actually paint every picture in the world with three colors. So this is the other way to go, besides getting a lot of little cheaper paints, is to, uh, there's a beginner set here. This is a beginner set of primary colors. This is uh, $27 for the set. I would advise you getting a large one of white and you can go anywhere for white. Or, this is the other way to go. This is actually the same price here. And it's a lot bigger and this is Liquitex. So this is a big set. Same price, it's, uh, well this is, yeah, $28, 20, yeah, $26, $7 here. And they're huge tubes. Now I've got that too, and it's lasted me for years. Then if you don't want to mix your own paints, this one here is about uh, $85, and it's 36 or 48 paints, and there are a whole whack of them here, and they're all your colors, you don't have to mix any paints. So there's different ways to go. Um, if you're a beginner, uh, I would suggest this little set like this and get some good paints. Make your own color wheel. Go online, you can go on my YouTube and make your own color wheel and, and make your own paints. Okay? So that's some of the ways to go. And uh, then the Opus has their own brand and you can also use theirs. Hi, it's Doreen Villain calling you. This is our fourth time here. Uh, you are following me on my page, Doreen Valeen, on YouTube. Uh, this is the, f the final little hint I'd like to give you. Uh, we're talking before about uh, uh, gesso. Gesso is very expensive, and when you want to repurpose a painting, uh, you don't really need to have gesso. It's going to take about two or three coats of, of uh, white to cover your, your repurposed painting. So I would suggest getting a really high quality paint in a velvet or a, a bit of an eggshell uh, finish. Uh, the one that I'm at Rona right now, the one that was suggested to me was this Evolution by Sickle. And it's a nice quality paint. For 28 bucks, I get probably at least two years worth out of this, two or three years. Uh, but I can get, I can finish all my paintings. It's a lot cheaper in gesso get a nice big brush and just save it for uh, doing your canvas. So um, I'd like to thank you very much for, for being with me today and following our four little stages, our little progression through Kelowna. I'm Doreen Valeen and thank you very, very much for joining me. Hi, this is Doreen Valeen. Thank you for joining me. I'm on YouTube today and I'm gonna just walk you through another little idea for producing your beautiful masterpiece almost free. So this is another way you can do it. I did take you to uh, using repurposing 
uh, canvas. It is actually better quality if you do the repurpose way to go, but you can do this way to go. And this is going to the dollar store, three bucks for a nice little canvas. They're, they're thinner. The only problem with this is these don't look really well on a, on a wall. They're really meant to go into a frame, which is another cost. I would, myself, personally, if, if I was just starting out fresh, yes, these are fine for practice and getting, getting to know you, yourself in your art. But if you already do a lot of art and you, if you want to sell your art, go to the two inch deep canvas, go to a good one, go back to your restore or your Salvation Army or wherever and get, re, get repurposed. It's better quality. Uh, these are great for practicing or for kids and they're reasonable. So um, your choice. Now I'm going to take you, uh, I'm not going to take you through the paints here. I'm going to take you down to Opus because this is something now that one of the options you can do is get a bunch of these paints. They're $1.50 each, um, but I'm going to give you another option. So if you actually got every one of these colors, you'd have to get like a black and a white. You have to get an orange and red, a true red, and a true blue, which is your primary blue here. You need that blue. You need a primary red, like that. And you need a primary yellow, like, oh, that's a bit too yellowy. This one here is a bit more primary. There's your three primary colors. But remember, at the dollar store, they're not going to be pure paints. You've got a lot of fillers in this. It's not going to be pure. So you're going to have to get all your other colors when you want to make a color. Okay? So there's there's a bit of a downfall in it. Um, put this back. Got the right place. So um, it's one or the other. So you got to make a decision. Am I going to learn how to do it? Or am I going to get the, uh, the paints from the dollar store? So I just want to give you some hints of different ways to go. I want to thank you very much for I want to thank you very much for watching this today, and uh, just click on my subscribe button if you want to see any more. And I want to thank you for joining me at Dream Valine.